Today's video, the four worst people of 2018. Yeah, I know I'm a little late. I'm backlogged. There's just so many things I want to cover. I'm months behind. But that big one's coming up. Of course, this list of four bad people is kind of personalized. Two are personal. I'm going to start with two people together. And those are Furious Pete and Frank Tufano. They're both YouTubers, and I happen to know them. The reason I'm putting Pete in this video, considering that he has recurring cancer, and they say you shouldn't pick on people that, that have cancer. Well, I came up with this video idea in December, and that's also the month Vegan Gaines did his video on Furious Pete. And although Vegan Gaines was a lot nicer, less hostile maybe, and no name calling either, he was still able to convey just how bad a person Pete is, and it really affected me. I just want to say it, it shows you how you can convey something to the viewers without actually saying it, and I do that a lot. And I get criticized for just not saying things, not being clear, but I think it's getting across. So Pete is known for doing eating challenges, and he's really big on meat, but that's not the reason why he makes my list of worst people. It's more his attitude. You know, we've gone through this for years, and then he gets cancer again, and his attitude towards it, instead of taking responsibility. Some people are gonna say it was genetic, or we don't know that his lifestyle caused it. Well, I still wanna come back to the concept of personal responsibility. That's a big talking point with conservatives, and I will bet you all four of these people are conservative. They believe you have to take responsibility for your actions. What you put in is what you get out. And we don't know that his lifestyle isn't contributing to all this cancer that he's getting. He could do the right thing and fix his lifestyle. His lifestyle hurts the environment. It puts more burden on the healthcare crisis. It hurts the animals and all those things hurt our society. So it wouldn't be surprising if it also hurts him. What goes around comes around, right? That is logical. But what does he do? He doesn't change his lifestyle at all. He goes back on YouTube and cries again. Poor me. And you know that his income will increase because of that. Which brings me to another issue that this could all be made up. Now, I don't follow Pete. Maybe he has shown proof. You know, people are easily fooled. And when you consider he makes a lot of money on this channel, they have a lot of money to invest. It may be uh, renting out an office space, you know, a doctor's uniform, stuff like that. You know, we have been fooled with a lot bigger hoaxes than that. Like David Blaine, the levitation thing. It, it was all a TV illusion. They used a crane that was out of the picture. That's not magic. That's tricking the viewers. But I thought TV wouldn't do that, purposely trick the viewers and call it magic. But they did. It pisses me off, man. Speaking of anti-vegan behavior, you may have heard a few days ago, syringe guy, went to a vegan meetup, started eating a pig's head. Now that happened in 2019. But before that, there was Pete. It reminded me of a picture of Pete that I have on my computer. And right there, that's his attitude. Same thing. He's just one of those bad people. Now Tufano, he's very similar. He purposely, he purposely says the most extreme things and puts those in the title of his videos, it's pretty clear that he is just trying to get people's attention, and make as much money as he can. But he's doing that on the backs of abused animals and also people's health. He's doing a disservice to the world and YouTube should not be allowing this kind of thing. That goes for a lot of channels out there, like Eugenia, and people drinking turpentine and crazy stuff like that. Tufano knows 
that he is BSing people with at least some of the stuff, or at least the extreme level that he goes to. For instance, his latest video says that veganism kills animals, and that's just meant to get views. He doesn't care how he's distorting people's minds. He is so much BS that I no longer want to get notifications to see what he's doing. And I'm better off just not hearing about his BS. The reason I was subscribed is to keep up with what's going on in his, in his circles. But he is just too far out there. Better off not knowing. So I'm unsubscribing, which means I'll never hear from him again. <laughs> Except maybe in Michelle's videos and other people. And Mick, you know, we gotta draw the line somewhere and stop helping these people stop spreading their name around. So that's the end of this guy in my world. Okay, let's just move on now. Don't want to spend too much time on this, especially this third person. I apologize in advance for bringing this person up, but he fits in here. You might think that it's all been said about this person, but I do have some, just have a little bit to say and then we move on. Maybe the top worst person of 2018 is Donald J. Trump. Now, I would figure that most people know this by now. You should, but it's, you know, it's hard to tell. Now that it's been two years that he's been president, we can look back at some results of his presidency. A lot of people say that uh, he's done a lot of good things because, well, look at how good things are going. Well, that's partly an illusion. We've got a false economy, which we've had since 1973. The jobs that have been created, some of them have been lost, they've been exaggerated, and the jobless rate is not a real number, and Trump even said that when he was running for president. Now he's not saying that. <laughs> he's, now he's taking the, the BS numbers and taking credit for it, which is unethical, but that's who he is. If Obama was still president right now, and for the last two years, things would be about the same as they are now. Except with Trump right now, things are about to crash. A crash in the economy, a crash in the environment. Oh, and let's not forget actual crashes. We've got planes just crashing themselves now. Never happened before. And sure, people are automatically going to say, how can you blame Trump for that? Well, if we don't, that would make it a coincidence. We've got planes just they're crashing themselves in the usual rates. We've got ships just malfunctioning. All these disasters, hostilities up, shootings are up. A lot of shootings you don't hear. Did you hear about the one two days ago? And really, I don't think much more should be needed to be said. How many times do we have to sound the alarm about this? So I'll just wrap it up by saying, from a historical point of view, Trump will go down as one of the worst historical figures in human history. As people look back in 20 years, 50 years, 100, he will be right up there with bin Laden, with Hitler, and to throw in a more modern a person that was in our U.S. government, that was McCarthy, who created McCarthyism, where he was doing actual witch hunts, going after people and, and destroying them. And that's without an investigation. I think Trump has surpassed McCarthy and Nixon. And to fit in with the picture theme here, I've got a picture of Trump that fits in. And might as well throw in this clip that I recorded a couple weeks ago. After what can only be called a brutal terror attack, the president said this. You see today white nationalism as a rising threat around the world. I don't really. I think it's a uh, small group of people that have very, very serious problems, I guess. He doesn't see it as a rising threat. 
the Prime Minister of New Zealand, Jacinda Ardern, certainly does. Right-wing extremists were responsible for 73% of those deaths. Left-wing extremists were responsible for 3.2%. Christopher Paul Hassan, a self-proclaimed white nationalist and Coast Guard lieutenant, arrested last month after the FBI uncovered his plans for a widespread attack on elected officials and TV anchors, including me. Just hours after the alleged shooter, an avowed white nationalist posted a so-called manifesto calling immigrants invaders. Pay close attention to that word. That's the same language the President of the United States used today. People hate the word invasion, but that's what it is. After mail bombs were sent to people he views as his political enemies, including CNN, quote, Republicans are doing so well in early voting, and now this bomb stuff happens, and then the momentum greatly slows? News not talking politics? Very unfortunate. What is going on here? Very important, unfortunate what's going on. Expected to plead guilty next week to charges related to sending 16 mail bombs to targets, including where I work, CNN. Robert Bowers, charged with shooting and killing 11 worshipers at the Tree of Life Synagogue in October, who posted on a social network about so-called invaders, people who are actually refugees seeking a better life in this country. There's that word again, invaders. A word that turns up over and over and over again in white nationalist propaganda. People hate the word invasion, but that's what it is. Here's a Trump rally, and there's a person asking a question. He says, we have a problem in this country. It's called Muslims. You don't see this person yet. They're going to show him in a few seconds here. What do you think a person like that would look like? We'll take a look at the man in this shot right here. Notice there's a similar look. It's the look I've been talking about for like two years now. Problem in this country, it's called Muslims. We know our current president is one. Right. You know he's not even an American. We need this First question. This is man. Question. But anyway, we have training camps growing where they want to kill us. Mm -hmm. That's my question. When can we get rid of it? We're going to be looking at a lot of different things. And, you know, a lot of people are saying that, and a lot of people are saying that bad things are happening out there. We're going to be looking at that and plenty of other things. Remember when John McCain was asked at one of his rallies in some crazy, fat, trashy lady woman said something very similar. John McCain set her straight. Trump did not. Both of us were just on the list of a guy who's exactly like this, who thought it was a good idea to kill a bunch of us. Mm -hmm. You didn't see the president jumping up and down on that. I mean, how sick are we right now? We've got to be better than this. Okay, last bad person of last year, if you remember last year and what I was doing, you know I have to include Casey Vegetable Police. Some people might not understand why I think he's one of the worst people, but I've been through a lot of history with him. Again, I want to say something that I haven't said before. You might be surprised that I could do that after making over 50 videos about him. After all this time, I still don't understand. Still don't understand why he singled me out. Of course, that's not the only reason I think he's the most horrible. That was just like the first thing. This was back oh, over, eight, oh, it was right around a year ago. And in a live video, he started talking about me. How often does something like this happen? He goes on telling me that he thinks my videos are horrible. So horrible, <laughs> they're so horrible, he feels the need to bring it up in one of his videos. Totally bizarre, I'll never understand this. Especially considering my videos are not really bad. They do have good qualities to them. They're entertaining. 
I go out of my way to be entertaining, and I make sure I'm teaching something at the same time. Think about it. How often does he really teach someone something? How often does he help someone? But back to me. You may not get my videos. I think differently, so I speak differently. Some people may not get that. That doesn't mean you gotta trash me. Interesting to note that three months after that, he ends up going ex-vegan and going anti-vegan. He went so far as to just to eat abused animals and to attack vegans. So maybe that could explain some three months. Maybe there's a connection there. And then he attacked me again in a more subtle way where it looked like he wasn't attacking me. Hmm. Very devious gaslighting. I think the common denominator there is that you know, the way his brain works, he just doesn't really care about anything outside himself. And that is the definition of psychopathic personality. Sociopathic, whatever you want to call it. And notice all four of them have this. I keep hearing people say that the universe bends towards justice. Well, I'm just not seeing it. Things seem to be getting worse. And I think the world's being overtaken by bad people. I think those people are procreating more because you, you just have all these people that are just uncaring. And that's why I'd go ahead and just ban meat. Not try to appeal to people to do the right thing. Appeal to people's sense of goodness because it's clear they don't have it. And speaking of banning meat, that's a good plug there to a, a video I have coming up. There has been talk of this and you might see more of it in actual US politics on the TV. <laughs> and I've got some I've got some footage to show you. It's really amazing what's going on. So I am back on track with my unique videos where they're not all the same, they're all different, different topics, unique perspectives. So this is a channel you want to remember. So subscribe and turn notifications on. And of course, thumbs up and comment. And I'll see you in a couple days. The world needs us at our best right now. Somebody's got to stand up to this and say, this is not who we are, this is not how we'll be. I'm here for it. I know you are. We'll keep working at it. And I'll try to take some of your optimism. I used to be a glass half full kind of guy. Now I'm half empty.